How's it going? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Git branching. Not the kind of branch that makes this table here, but Git branching, like something you'll be able to use in your workflow. All right, so why do we have branching? Well, if you work in with your source code, lots of files and lots of folders, that's what it is, uh, then you'll know that, you know, like, because there's so many files and so many things can go wrong, you don't really want to have to keep track of like what's changed and what's not changed. And perhaps you have one copy of your uh, source code, actually everything is working and you don't want to mess with that, right? So you're kind of like afraid to um, make changes to it just for the fact that, you know, you you know that everything is working and you don't want it to, to go bad, right? So what you would normally do is you would make a copy of like a duplicate of what is already working and then you would just work on the, the duplicate that you made and you know now, okay, I've got the working copy sort away just fine. Now I can make, make whatever changes I want. Well, Git has a very efficient way of dealing with that and it's called branching. Let's start by taking a look at creating our first branch. All right, so here we are. Uh, so let's recap from the previous episode. I've got my uh, branch open over here. It's the master branch. And in the master branch, we have two lines of code over here. Uh, this is my first line and no one ever reads the readme. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create the develop branch, right? So the master branch is, uh, we're just gonna leave that alone. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the master branch, uh, develop branch. Git uh, branch develop. All right, so let's check uh, if we have that branch or not. Git branch. So we have the branch now. And what we can do is we can switch over to working on the actual, uh, you know, the actual develop branch. So git check out develop. All right, so now we're on the develop branch. Let's make some changes to our file. We are on the develop branch. Git status. So I'm gonna do a commit, git commit am. So this time I'm just gonna use the hyphen am. Uh, this is kind of like allows us to not have to do git add. So we just do git commit a and then m. So everything happens in one command. Um, all right, so we are adding something new. Great, so now if I uh, check out git log, I'll see that I have three commits. Now if I go back to my uh, master branch, git checkout master, you'll see that we're back to the snapshot that we made earlier, right? So this is, this is what I was talking about in terms of snapshots. Um, so we don't have to worry about what's on the master branch. We know that that works and that's deployed. So we just worry about what we wanna build, which is a develop branch. So git, whoops. So I'm gonna switch back here, git checkout, develop. Okay, so what else can we do? Uh, we can create another branch, uh, and generally this is kind of like leading into the kind of workflow that I wanna show you guys. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a branch called a feature branch. So git uh, checkout hyphen B, feature, new feature. So this is a new way of creating a branch. Uh, you can do git checkout hyphen b and if the branch does not exist, it will automatically create it for you. Great, so if I now go over, uh, open this up in the text editor. So we're already on the feature branch as you can see down here. Uh, if I head over to the file, we'll see that the develop branch, changes we made in the develop branch still exist over here. That's great. So wh whenever we're on a branch and we create a new branch, it'll create a branch reference off of the branch that we were on. I hope that doesn't confuse you. All right, so let's let's let me recap that a little bit. So I'm gonna git check out into the develop branch over here. So when I was on the develop branch, I typed in the command git check out hyphen b feature new feature branch. What this is gonna do is gonna reference off the develop branch and create a new branch based on the develop branch. If I was on the master branch, it will reference off the master branch instead. All right, so um, here we are. So we can go ahead and uh, so we can check out feature, new feature. And then here, all we have to do is just add a new feature. So, wow, that was easy. Okay, so now we have a new feature added, right? What we can do is git commit done with new feature. So git checkout develop. So as you can see, uh, the develop branch still just has three lines of code, whereas the feature branch has now four lines of code. Now, with all these creating all these branches, why am I showing you all this stuff? Well, if you think about it, you know, when you're working with a, a piece of source code, you're working with 
pe multiple people in your team. And it it's really cool to be able to create a branch and assign that branch off to someone. So for example, you have multiple feature branches, and you know that, okay, you have five developers on your team. And what you can do is like say, okay, developer A, go ahead and work on this branch. Developer B, go ahead and work on this branch. And then basically what you know what you do is you have each person responsible for that branch and they will go ahead and build the app whatever they're responsible for in that branch so it's all isolated so the changes made by one person is not going to be conflicted and, and and mess up the changes made by the other person because the other person knows that he's got the working copy which is from the develop branch and then he's building off he or she's building off of that all right, guys, so this is uh, going to wrap it up for the episode called Branching. In the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at how we can merge all those branches together. And it'll slowly lead on to kind of the kind of workflow that we use in our company uh, at Codemy. So I hope you guys found that useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And uh, also, we have a Rails Foundation course coming up. And if you're interested in taking a look at that, don't forget to head over to our Gumroad uh, website and subscribe and put in your email over there. So once we're done recording the videos for that course, we can uh, notify you and let you know about it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next one.